fixed last night after the shifter popped up. I'm about to show you guys why you should not buy a Facebook Marketplace S chassis. Oh man. Uh, I don't think that's where those are supposed to come from. <laughs> All right, you ready? So good. I know it looked really good. Yeah, I definitely need to bolt that seat and I hit the brakes and the whole thing like, <laughs> forward. No, it runs really good. Surprisingly well. The brakes really suck. That really? was honestly like my biggest concern. But damn, not a bad first test drive. What is up? Justin at Chase Industry. You're tuning in for the second part on this 240SX. So today I got this car out front. It actually managed to drive up here because I've got this thing pretty much, I don't want to say fully dialed in, but I've got this thing pretty dialed in. It's, um, we just took it around the neighborhood. Um, haven't tried doing anything too crazy, but it moves under its own power. The engine feels healthy. We uh, came in here. We got this seat finally bolted in, legit. I threw a passenger seat in there just for now. It's just kind of sitting in there so I can take friends around. We got the steering wheel bolted on because we found out there was no nut on that thing. We've just been kind of going over it. Uh, we've had little issues, power steering, gas straps, all of the above. But right now, this thing's feeling super, super good. It's running strong. We got the uh, fuel pump finished wired up, as you saw in our last video. Um, it was just directly hooked up to the battery. So now we have this. It's not the prettiest. It does work right now, key on, fuel pump turns on just like a normal car. It doesn't do a prime sequence, but as long as you don't leave the key on, it shouldn't be a problem. So still got to clean this thing out, but it is looking a whole lot better. So on top of all that, we take a peek down here. It's not finished, but I got an exhaust and it's looking pretty dang good. It's tucked up nice and clean all the way up. But right now, I'm going to stop talking and show you how easy it is to fire this thing up. Battery's disconnected because right now the tail lights stay on, the headlights don't work. Ugh. So you hop on in, got a nice cozy bucket seat. Gotta delete this or figure something out about that, I don't even know. Fuel pump right back there, turns on. I installed the attack, but nothing works. So oh, this thing is running super good. Right now, Moses and Xander are gonna hop in this thing, take it to the gas station for me and throw some gas in it. But I'm gonna stay here and keep working on this bash bar for my buddy Gavin and his LS Swap 300ZX. Somehow we just got stuck with all the Nissans today. So this thing is super sweet. He drives it super hard at the track. And I just finished welding up this thing right here. And I'm gonna be getting it bolted up and finished up while these two take that thing to the gas station and they're going to film it for you and <laughs> see if there's any reactions with the uh, racing helmets on. I don't think any of the windows go down. It's yeah. recording right now. All right. All right. They're hitting their first track event right now. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. There you go. Oh, hey. Tires flat. Oh my god, it's three wheeling! 
That's sick. Oh yeah. That's welded all right. I love it. Okay, here we go. Okay. No, no, it just three wheel because of the Alright, let's rip it out of the neighborhood. <laughs> First fill up in years. So we're going to call it a day for it on this guy. Um, right now, the plan is to just kind of keep on driving it around, buttoning it up. I got to fix up some wiring, some lights, you know. I want to get a uh, passenger seat in there for the uh, event that we got coming up. And uh, we're probably just going to end up fast forwarding to the event in a few weeks. And uh, we'll see you there. Oh, man. Uh, I don't think that's where those are supposed to come from. What the fuck is going on? So I guess this is what happens when you hit a bump in your S chassis too hard. Guys, I, your strut I, disconnects. I may have hit a manhole cover a, a little too fucking hard and I turned it into a quick disconnect strut. I'll run these until they blow. So I just had to hammer that bushing right back in this because as you see here, it's totally blown out. And this strut rod popped off the bushing, went over the bolt and was hanging down right here. And because of that, I mean, this tire was literally like in the fender. You can see it was eating up the tire. Yeah, we, we had so much camber. We were rubbing up there in the wheel well. You know, I don't even know where this tire was hitting. Oh, look right here. So you can see we were resting the tire right up in the wheel well right there. But um, 
It still drove home, made it home like a mile or two like that. It was slammed on the ground, throwing sparks. But um, right now we're just getting it fixed up. The brakes suck, so we're gonna bleed the brakes. And uh, we're just trying to get this thing ready for a track event, either one tonight, uh, local to us, or one in a week or two out in Tucson. But yes, this thing, it's got a full exhaust now. Of course, we blew the strut out and then the exhaust pretty much got a hole scraped through it somewhere right up there, but not a big deal. So we're gonna button this thing up. So we're just gonna keep going on this thing, get this thing ready for an event. If we take it out tonight, you're definitely gonna see, I'll get some footage of this thing sliding around. Um, and if we don't go tonight, we'll be going in probably like two or three weeks out to Tucson to get some seat time at uh, Honda Musselman circuit. As long as this thing can stay together for us, because I mean, so far, it's not going so well. I'm about to show you guys why you should not buy a Facebook Marketplace S chassis, just like this that one. So we took this thing on a drive. I have bolt checked everything. I've been over this whole car, I mean, a bunch of times, right? But of course the previous owner decided to buy these nice, cheap, no-name control arms. And look at this, we were driving this Dude, like this. Dude, that's not fucking bolted in. Dude, that thing is about to fall out. And I'm pretty damn sure I even tightened that. So we're just gonna tighten it again. I'm about to weld that shit on there. Cause this thing is literally the parts bin special. I mean, we got cheap control arms with ball joints backing out. We got cheap coilovers with strut rods falling out and oh my God. Please take it from me. Don't buy these things. Unless you just hate yourself and you want to be like me, don't buy one. They're just all garbage. All right, me and Moses are building seat brackets right now. Getting some fresh harnesses that we just picked up put in the car. I picked up this cheap bucket seat right here. And I just started building up some quick brackets because the track literally goes hot in one hour and we're trying to take this thing. So we got harnesses going in. We will have a passenger seat. We got, I think all the suspension sorted out. We bolted the bumper on. We've just been sorting things all day long. We got a fresh shift knob from my buddy Joseph, and I think we're just about ready to go. So I still gotta pack up some tools, some tires in the back, and um, I think we'll be good. Obviously, there's a lot going on, but I think we're gonna make it. The old E36 you guys have seen on the channel just pulled up. My buddy Ruben brought it over because he's gonna be doing his first track event in that thing right there. So that's pretty cool. Just finishing this up. We'll see you at the track. I think this is him right here. Oh, yeah, there's Justin in the middle. Oh, dude, this is looking pretty professional right here. Oh, it's gonna be. Okay, so. So we gotta shank it to the proper height. And then just cut it and put that plate back on? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's genius. Oh, so that's a little high. So we cut this one. Just a hair shorter. A bit thought of it. the inside of the car with tranny fluid. We got puddles on the floor and a redneck fix already in motion. All of because you were freaking tandeming at a freaking 100 miles an hour in a stock lap <laughs> down car. Yeah. So me, Scotty, and Gavin went and did a uh, tandem lap. First lap out, never driven this car on track. Now I was just like, well, the tandem line is shorter. So I hopped in tandem and uh, we broke the car.
Oh shit, here's Kellen, here we go. It is the next day after the drift event. I'm sitting here in the 240, reminiscing on how crappy this thing drove last night. But you know what? We had a good time. We sorted out some issues, figured out a lot of new issues, and uh, I think we're ready to get dialed in for the next track. So biggest issues, um, angle sucks super bad. It's got some arms and everything on it, but I need to mod the knuckles and get us more steering angle. The engine hits some sort of governor and it just won't go all the way up to limiter. So. We were kind of having to hold back because of that and, we, and when you're holding back and then trying to toss it in hard and you don't have the angle to compensate we were having a little bit of trouble but we got a couple good runs in the condition of the car um the engine works i just pulled it out of the driveway so we can work on xander's car but you saw our ghetto little fix last night after the shifter popped up so i got these little um plastic bits in here and all those are doing is keeping this whole rod from being able to slide up so look, there's one on this side and they're just wedged in there, tightened down by this plate. So somehow the shifter held up all night. I will say it doesn't feel amazing, but it did work. So that was a good fix. Shout out to Jeff for getting that idea sorted out. Barely went through any tires last night, but I'll probably end up swapping these before our next event. Um, everything else seems pretty good. Nothing weird back here. Definitely started smoking a lot after all the tranny fluid fell on the exhaust. And um, I had people tell me all night that we were throwing sparks, and that is because of the exhaust. So, another issue we noticed um, after rewatching some videos, we went and put some gas in it. And um, after we put gas in it, this thing doesn't have a gas cap. So, on initiation, this thing was shooting gas out of the side of it at the same time that sparks were shooting out over there. So, luckily, nothing bad happened, but. I'm gonna sort that out. But besides that, I think this thing is pretty much ready to just get a little more dialed in, get it ready for the next event, and she'll be all good. We're now bumping that 210 radio at FAM. The long awaited 1999 Adam the Shinobi album, and we're gonna break it like this.
Fuck you. 